After the Uncharted video came out, a lot of people said, I've been going through the same thing and to see someone else keep doing what they love, like gives me the ability to keep going. If you've come from something tragic, you can still move forward. We're in LA, I just got in from New York, and we're heading to the studio. I'm super excited. I just wanna, I just wanna start, I just wanna do it. I, I wanna get in there and make this music, bring it to life, you know? Hey, man. Welcome. How's it going? Welcome, man. Good to see you, brother. You ready for this? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, man. good, good. <laughs> hey, man, come on in. I'll be kind of conducting from here. I do like to have control, especially over my music. I'm writing about my past and my experiences. This is all real stuff, so it's hard to collaborate with your life, like your life experiences. In the YouTube video of Teresa, you stop a bunch. We kept it rolling. But for artists to let go of their songs is the hardest thing. You're putting everything out there and somebody's changing it or adding to it or giving their take on it. I went to the B, I alternated between the B minor and the D. Before this week, I'd met him once. We had zero trust between each other coming into this thing. I've never worked with Chris, so I was a little worried that maybe our ideas would clash. What do you think? It's just the bass. I guess it might, it, might, it might show more when there's other instruments. I think the first two days for Chris and I were tough because we, I don't know if we've trusted each other yet. I do like it. The yeah. change me. Now I hear it. I'm kind of learning to trust him. Living out of space, I think I lost my mind. I got a rhythm in my heart that I can't find. I never thought I would be recording an album in LA at Boulevard Studio. Like, I, I never thought that ever. Play him the chorus you're playing, because he's pushing something that I'm not getting. The first four days were, were brutal. The first two days, I sung seven different songs, each song like 15 times. It was insane. I, I know, it's good. I think it'll be faster. Can we try it on 145 and see how it feels? It's been a week of just straight recording, live instruments, vocals, drums, everything. It's been insane. It's been a lot of work. I'm doing the pushes on the kick, yep. but also emphasizing the next 16th note. I'm just trying to stay on this, uh, you know. Oh, don't back off. Stay on tempo. Oh, you're going to be fine. But I'm OK. I'm all right. Please trust me, I'll be fine. And if you're wondering if I am well, Recording this album has been a goal for me for the last year and a half, and I had no idea it was so expensive. Honda and Uproxx, they just want to help me. Why me, you know? I'm really grateful. For the first one, if, if you come in softer, for the, for the first chorus that you're on. The best part about recording this album is uh, collaborating with other musicians, you know? It's, it wasn't just my song anymore. I think where Demir excels the most is his ability to be authentic. It's not phony. You know, when he's singing, he's really, he's actually sitting in that lyric at that time and telling that story from that place. As a producer, all I gotta do is stay out of the way of that. I have an album. It feels incredible. It's super exciting, but also it's, it's kind of like, it's humbling because I learned so much. I want everything. Everything, yeah. To tell you that I love you and I'm crazy for your love. I want you, so can it be all? It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be very touching. It's gonna be a really good work, really good project that people will be able to listen to and really feel better. I'm looking to get that out of this. Can it be 